All right, let's get into the match. Jeb and I player versus DHB. This is losers round. This is not losers round five. This is oh, this is this is winners round five. Versus DHB, the God versus Jeb. Uh, we got Ike versus Schultz here. Sword versus Sword. Shit ton of damage versus a ton of damage. Yeah. So, DHB starting in Buster. I don't agree with this. So the reason you don't want to start in Buster uh, as uh, as Schultz is because Buster doesn't allow you to get any knockback for your combo. So nothing is safe on hit at zero. Now it's a different story at, at twenty, but. But it seems to be working out very well for him. I'm already at 71%, unable to land. Yeah, yeah. More Buster stuff back. Now, another fun fact with Buster, Buster gives you more shield stun. Shield stun, uh, the formula is damage divided by 1.27 plus 2. Meaning that the more damage you do, the more shield stun you get. Okay. So, uh, fun fact there. Anyways, Ike not taking advantage of his really strong edge guard. Ike has a very strong edge guard game. Absolutely. Is that good enough, DI? It is, so it's gonna keep him there. Right, the and shield. gets the reverse nice. back air for the kill! Nasty back air, I saw this face. Brilliant kill move as well. Okay. Very patient, a, excellent. A little bit late on that eruption. Not sure if he could have gotten the, uh, the hit there. Oh, it's important that Shulk didn't get flustered in that situation. A lot of earlier players will get nervous around that, and as a result, make a mistake. You play patient and wait for him to use it up. I guess it's tilt off the stage. Can he get the edge guard? <laughs> He's in jump, but it doesn't matter. Really cool thing by Jeff. I'm just erupting in here. Again, going Buster at zero. I wonder what. I wonder what that is. He know he knows something we don't. He does, he's done it twice in a row. It's not a mistake. He gets the back throw. Gets hit by a little bit of that up B. Still has the percent lead. Just juggling them out. They're trading after trade. It's just trade after trade after trade. Yeah, Jeb, uh, I have no idea how to make out Schultz versus I. Well, <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot of a spacing game and it's a lot of an approach game from that Schultz player. Because Ike is a pretty defensive character. Most sword characters are pretty defensive, uh, excluding Cloud sometimes. Uh, and I guess uh, you can be pretty offensive on Shulk, especially in speedrun. So play, finally playing patient, finally waiting there, waiting for that approach. Just recognizing that he can't win if he goes in. Keeping that edge card safe. Get, uh, gets the roll in. Shulk takes center stage. They're fighting for it. Now, stage control can really define this matchup because both characters have very strong edge guards. Gets an up throw. No Monado purge does not get the Monado cancel. Does not get the up B either. Gets the counter. No hard punish on it, but he still does get punished. Ike at 130. Show can smash. Not anymore. At this point, both of them range, though, with smash. It's not that. Might not be a good idea in this situation. Perhaps, perhaps he's thinking that too. Shield, to keep safe here. I don't like agree with that what? either. That makes a combo for you. Absolutely. But he, he immediately realizes that and he says, alright, that I don't care. I'm gonna listen to Snack and go to jump and have the most air in the game. Gets a back air. Tippers him off the edge. Such a well spaced back air. I've got a good rhythm going. Oh, wait, you took out rags? Nice! Yeah, it was Luigi. so cool, dude. You okay. got him with an up throw. It's nasty. Already getting into round two. Jeb opted to stay with the eye. I think this might be a smart move, considering how close the last game was. Jeb has a Ryu. Jeb does indeed have a Ryu. In, if I was sitting in the same seat that Jeb was sitting in, I would pick Ryu. But it is up to Jeb. Absolutely. I think he's waiting for the stage pick. You pick your stage before you pick your character. So he's saying, all right, I know. He's asking, does DHB know I have a Ryu? Uh, uh, all right, I'll well, looks. Like all right. Dreamland. I would imagine that uh, on this stage you wanted to go Ryu, but again, twice in a row might not be a mistake, might be just something we don't know. And it was an excellently close game. I mean, he definitely has a shot with this item. I think he just wants to get another shot here. 
and instantly taking command of this game, knocking up 61% to get himself off stage. It looks like is going to have to rethink his plan, Hatsu did not go with the uh, Buster this time. Switch it back to jump. Ooh, Jeb barely catches the edge there. Gets the jab combo off the siege. Gets a, uh, gets a read there. Does not get anything off the uh, two frame. Ryan's with the neutral air. HB's turn. Is he gonna get anything? I get the up beyond to him. I up forward air connects. Really strong stuff there. I think Jeb is just really, really yeah, thought of something. He's feeling it. He figured something out. Uh, I, I feel like he's using obvious. that really, he's using that really superior edge guard game. So I really can just keep him on the edge all game. If, if I guess is right every time, you're dead. Now Shield Manando, um, I don't think he knows that. I think Shield Manando might have killed him there. All right, so Jeb only 53 percent. I think he's going to opt to stay a little bit more defensive here. Absolutely. Yeah, not a grab. Excellent work from Jeb. Excellent work from Jeb. I already got 52 percent off. This is looking drastically different from the last game. Absolutely. Even. Looks like Jeb maintaining that solid stage, but really punishing hard on the edge. But it looks like Strong's gonna get a chance to edge guard either. He's not. He's not abusing that either. So something, uh, something that Shulk can do is he's stuck at the top of Aether for a long time and he doesn't have super armor anymore. He can just fair him off stage and do it over and over again. But it looks like the person being uh, being thrown off stage is going to be the Shulk. It seems as though mistakes will be repeated. Is he going to get the edge guard? Very strong enough to go off stage, uh, especially against Shulk like that uh, with jump. Which is back to shoot the guy. I feel like. In this, ooh, gets a hard read on the counter. All right, so Shulk at 122, but Shield Mode does exist. You're basically impossible to kill unless you're 30% higher. Ooh. Catches him trying to sneak onto the ledge. Trying to get that forward tilt. Very strong. It's basically a smash attack by, by another name. Gets the forward air, takes him out. At 151, no amount of shield is going to save you there. I think, you know, I think uh, Shield came out too late for it, it to was, save it. It was just about, he had the animation down, but he could not get it in time. Alrighty, so round one going into round three here. Winners, round five. And Jeb really pulling it back there. Really showing off how well he can edge guard, and how well he can cover the stage options. So I think if DHB is going to win, He's going to have to keep him on stage. Absolutely. Just play the middle of the stage and don't get hit too much. Just stay in the field. Back to Buster again. All right. It worked for him. That's true. All right. Down throw. Down throw into down tilt. I don't I think if you have a fast move, that's true. I think you can jump out of it, but even then, it's good for shot. Good position. But it just caught him off guard. He did it two games ago too. I don't. I don't think it's a. Uh, I don't think it's something that's not just like a. Just like a thing that he's doing. It's definitely true. So, DHB keeping him, keeping him running around, keeping him approaching him. He understands that I have to play defensive to win. Uh, so, strong stuff. No pummels, but uh, still interesting. Gets a hard read there, but it doesn't pay off. We're gonna go ahead and see. Sneaks back onto the ledge, smart stuff by DHP. Uh, Gonna get pineapple there. Hate to see that happen. Nice back air. Not to be a generic thing, just I hate to see that happen. But uh, <laughs> just like nice back air. But that wasn't a nice back air, that was almost a nice up air. I'm getting, getting a lot of hits here. Oh, getting a four year off stage. Gonna get back. Now the thing, uh, I like to call anybody with a linear recovery like that, Fox Syndrome. Your your recovery is so linear, it's one of two options and they're both easy to cover. And so somebody can just keep edge guarding you, but it looks like HP's not covering that too much. But it looks like the person is, who is covering that edge... Oh, oh, gonna be the down air to kill off the side. That's insane. My man's pulling a cloud down there. there. Is this a Netflix original? Because <laughs> I've seen Stranger Things. All right, gonna go for a neutral to cover the neutral getup. DHB's gotta be careful. Does, 
throws out a forward air. Congratulations to Jeff for being a winner's finals. Strong stuff by him. Congratulations to both players. DHB, strong showing today. We have not seen him in a long time. Uh, we're, we're happy to have him back. So yeah, good showing by both players.